Now, discussing about the FMC high availability. So it's not uh, FMC high availability is a little bit uh, different from the normal. Uh, what do we do with the FTTs? So you have to understand what are the different requirements and in which situations how to configure those settings and how to upgrade or degrade your FMCs or turn back up, turn the synchronization and everything. It's uh, very important to understand this one. Otherwise, you will lose the configuration. Now, we do have the firepower management center high availability from 7.0 from the below versions. You don't have, I don't think so there isn't any option for that one. Now, to, why do we create the high availability? Basically, you need to have some active standby configuration or to get the uh, high availability features so that uh, there is some backup. But again, it so, is only an active standby. So before 7.0, there is no, no option. Availability. Yes. When we see uh, when we have gone through the options in the configuration, I have told you that in the integration, you don't have the high availability. I'm not sure about the 6.7, but 6 below that version, definitely you don't find that option. All right, so to ensure the continuity of the operations, so that's why we configured the high availability. And as far as standby unit does not actively, actively manage devices. So basically, if I have any FTDs, okay, so any FTDs which are integrated with the FMC, which is acting as an active FMC, the standby FMC does not manage any devices. Okay, this standby device uh, FMC does not have any participation in configuration configuration or anything. Everything will be done on the active, and it will be replicated to the standby. Okay, but in case of active goes down, still this will remain as standby. But only thing is that uh, the operations will be continuing. So you cannot create a new rules, new operations, like uh, new policies, anything. You cannot create until and unless you make this one as a primary. So once this one becomes as an active unit or a primary unit, then only you are able to create the policies and all those things. But so, whatever so you have now. created in the FMC active, all the policies will be replicated to standby and standby will honor that policies and it will make sure that the operations are continuous. So let's assume that uh, the, the active FMC is uh, something is wrong with it and yep. it fail over to the fail over to the passive. Yep. And passive now is is now uh, what you are using? Will you be since you cannot make do any configuration on the passive? How no. do you make the passive active in that situation? Since the active is no. Yeah, more. you have to manually make that standby as a active. Okay. You have to make it manually. Okay. So basically, if you see that the active is down and standby is hosting those things and it is managing. But you have to manually upgrade that uh, standby to the primary or active so that you can configure the policies if required. Okay. So when primary is back online, then you have to do the same thing, like pause the synchronization, make that uh, FMC as a primary, make this one as a secondary. So manual thing, it's not automatic, but manual. All right. So these are the details about the FMC high availabilities. I will provide you with this uh, file and everything. You can go ahead and look into this one. Now requirement, every time whenever there is an active standby requirement or high availability, the universal requirement is that they both should be identical with license and each and everything, including the ports, ports on all those things. So that's the only requirement in that one. Now coming to the software requirement, again, with the software requirement, you have to be specific that it is 7.0.0 means it should be 7.0.0. And it doesn't mean that 7.0.1 and 7.0.0 is equal, no. A software versions, everything should be exactly identical. Now license requirement, there is no special uh, license requirement for the FMC to configure the high availability, but you can just uh, integrate your Cisco smart account and that should be enough. Now again, role versus status, this is very important because we are discussing about the high availability means we do dealing with the primary. 
and secondary. These are the roles. Now status is active and standby. So whenever there is a device, FMC1 is the primary, that means its role is primary. It doesn't mean that it is active always, no. <clears throat> you're just saying that, okay, FMC, you are the primary, that means you are the boss, but not every time. And the secondary means you're not the boss. Active means this is the one which is going to manage the devices. This is the one which is going to uh, configure whatever the configuration you want to do, you want you're going to perform on this active. Now the active can be secondary also, the active can be on the primary also. So the roles are different. You are just saying that, okay, your role is primary, but when coming to the status, if its status is active, that means you are able to do each and everything over there. But if it is not active, that means you are not able to do anything. It's like kind of passive mode. So you have to understand that one. So doesn't mean that the primary, okay, this FMC one is a primary, that means it will be active each and every time. Doesn't mean that one. you have to understand. It's just a role. But when it comes to the status, you have to look for the status, what's the actual status. Okay. So that's the difference between that one. So you have to be careful between the don't get confused that primary means he is the boss and we can do everything now. Now, even processing, uh, when you configure the high availability, there will be some issues like uh, how the events will be synchronized, how the different policies will be synchronized or how connected FTD, integrated FTDs will be uh, synchronized or not. Let's look into that one, one by one. So coming with the event processing, since both the firepower management centers are in high availability pairs, receive events from managed devices, the management IP address for the appliances are not shared. So basically you do have a two different uh, management IP address for the FMC1 and FMC2. So it is being not shared between these two. Management IP address is not shared between both the FMCs. Now, whenever the operations are happening, it will only send it to one FMC at a time when you do not have the shared management IP address. Now, AMP cloud connections. So whenever there are like malware events or the AMP cloud connection, those will go off. That means you, you have configured that AMP connections in the FMC one. But FMC1 goes down means uh, FMC2 does not have any information about that one, AMP cloud connections. So what you have to do is that uh, you have to make sure that FMC is able to reach to the internet so that because your account is being synchronized, it will automatically, when it becomes, uh, when it sees that, okay, primary has gone down, active is, has gone down, I have to take care about it. So it will automatically connect to the smart account and it will, download the license at that time. But you have to make sure that FMC is able to reach to the internet. Otherwise your client uh, and cloud connections and everything will be lost. So what, what is a, what is AMP cloud connection? Advanced malware protection. Mm -hmm. So basically oh, okay. FMC, when I integrate with the app, right? So it is this integration will not be done on the FMC secondary. It will only stay on the FMC, but all the settings will be sent to the FMC saying that, okay, when you want to integrate the AMP, so these are the username, these are the accounts and everything, details will be synchronized. So when this goes down, now it does not have any options, but it will have the setting saying that, okay, I have to connect to the AMP, so it will go to the AMP and it will make sure that that connection is being synchronized because it has the details, but it does not integrate. So at a time, only one device can be integrated to the AMP, primary one. So that's why now, once you lost this FMC now, so until this one integrates with the AMP, so that is the time limit, that is the period that all the events will be lost related to the AMP. So that's why you have to make sure that FMC secondary has the connection to the ISP so that it is able to access internet and integrate the app whenever there is a loss of connection. So this is pretty important. You have to make use of, be careful with that one. Now URL filtering, URL filtering, security, intelligence, configuration, and informa information. These all things will be synchronized to the management of both of the devices. 
even though the primary goes down, again, the secondary still has the, all the information over there. However, only the primary management centers download the URL now. Now you do have a facility where you want to check for the URL. So what FMC will does is like it will communicate with your uh, Cisco, Cisco on the internet and it will download some uh, patches or you can say that download some details from the Cisco saying that what are the genuine URLs, what are the dangerous URLs. So it, the, it will only be downloaded into the active one. But active goes down, secondary should have access to the ISP so that whenever this goes down and the secondary comes up, it will automatically download those things. So you have to be careful again with this one too. So these are the certain things we have to be very, very careful and understand that, okay, this primary goes down. I have to make sure that these certain things happens automatically. If you do not have access to the internet, these many things you are going to lose. So these are very critical ones again. Now user data processing during failover management. If the failover primary failover management center fails, the secondary management propagates to the managed device user IP. Now this is with respect to the user. So in your organization, you have configured the network uh, discovery and you found that, okay, PC1 user is trying to access the ISP now. This event has been sent to the FMC, which is acting as a primary now. All of a sudden this goes down. Now this is a secondary. Now, secondary will see this user as a unknown because it will take time to discover that one. But FMC have already discovered, so it will see as user as a PC one. But the FMC as a secondary one will see as an unknown and it will initiate a network discovery until it has been discovered. It will not map. So it will not map saying that, okay, this is a PC one with a particular IP address. So IP will not be mapped to that particular user. So it will take time to discover that one. So once the network is been discovered, then it will map saying that, okay, this particular IP address belong to this particular system with this particular user. So it will take time until it will uh, discover all the uh, network discovery. Now configuration in the high availability deployment, only the active firewall management can manage devices and apply policies, as I said, and both the platform management centers remain in the state of continuous synchronization every time they will be in a sync. Now, if the active fire management center fails, the high availability phase enters into a degraded state until you manually promote the second. So basically, as I said that when primary goes down, manually you have to upgrade that secondary to the active state, then only you are able to configure the policies and all those things. Once the operation is complete, the appliance leaves the maintenance mode. Now, coming to the backups now, really, really have to be very careful, critical about the backup. Now, when you perform the backup on a firepower management high availability pair, the backup operation pauses synchronization. So whenever you are doing the backup, it will pause the synchronization between your FMCs. So make sure that you schedule your backup in the midnight as usual. But whenever the backup is happening, you can use your firepower management center that is the active one as normally. Not, you can configure more whatever you want to do. You can go ahead and do the configurations. Now, after the backup is complete, synchronization resumes. All right. So basically, once the backup is done, okay, backup is been taken. Now the synchronization will come back on, but it will take a brief moment and it will be synchronized. Now, during this pause, high availability page briefly displays a holding page. So on the uh, high availability, you will see a details. Okay, it is on the hold or something. Now, this will, uh, if you are uh, scheduling the backup on the midnight, that shouldn't be a problem for you. Now, firepower management center, high availability split brain. Now, uh, it's very important how to understand that. What do you mean by the split brain? Now, if the active firepower management center in the high availability phase goes down due to power issues or network connectivity issues, okay, you can promote the standby firepower. As usual, you will say that, okay, fire active has gone down. So I will, what I will do is that I will make the secondary as active now. Now, when the original active peer comes up, both the peers assume they are active now, right? It has come back now, the active one, and it is saying that, okay, I'm also active. The secondary we have promoted to the active, and both of them are saying that active, active. So now this is like a split brain issue. 
this is this situation is known as a split band where both of them will say that okay i'm also active i'm also active when this situation occurs the system prompts you to choose an active appliance when they came up both of them saying that okay i'm also active i'm also active so what they will say that okay we will not fight but we will say to the user who is going to be active whatever the option he selects he will become the active so you will get a prompt saying that okay select the active one when you select the active one it becomes the active the other one will become to uh the standby automatically so there's no option for for preempt preempt no that's what i'm saying that they have introduced in the 7.0 so slowly they are going to improve in the later versions all right so we have to be careful with the split braiding but anyhow it is pretty straightforward process but still you need to understand whenever this is happening it is giving you a prompt saying that select an active uh, peer then uh, you have to understand that okay it's a split brain so once you say that okay i got that this is the issue of a split brain make sure that the synchronization is happening between them confirm that one all right, so I have also given the example what Cisco has given here. So you can go ahead and check that one with respect to the split break. Now, configuration synchronized on what are the configuration that will be synchronized in the FMCs in the high availability. So these are the different configurations that will be synchronized. Now, if you see that in this one, you do not have the URL category, you do not have the app because as we discussed, that should be connected to your integrated with the cloud services. You have to make sure that those are uh, FMC has the access to the internet so that it can integrate itself. But by default, whatever the these are the different things which will be synchronized to the standby, all the details are available at all times. Now, upgrading the firepower management center in high power. So this I think this is interesting for you and you need that one. Now, how to upgrade your uh, firepower management center in the if they are in the high availability pair? Access the web interface. These are the steps included. How to do it actually. But uh, basically what you have to do is that when both peers are active, high availability is degraded. This is a split brain issue. And decide which power management center you want to use. So basically when you are doing an update, you will do the standby first. Always. Not the primary. So unregistered only those additional devices export configuration. So before you upgrade, make sure that you export the configuration from the standby so that in case if it's not successful, you can just put back the same configuration. Okay, okay, okay. Now, while upgrading the FMCs, you do have certain scenarios. If you are upgrading the primary, FMC failed, failed the primary but the data backup is successful. Data backup is not successful. Two scenarios, if you have a failed primary or if you have a failed secondary, you do again have a two options, data backup successful, data backup. So basically what I'm going to uh, trying to make you understand is that whenever there is an FMC, which is acting as a primary and active, it failed, but you already got an updates like data backup and you do not have a data backup. These are the two different scenarios. Similarly with the standby, whenever it goes down, you do have a data backup and you do not have a data backup. So replacing FMC in a high availability. So I want to replace these FMCs now. So these are the different scenarios if you want to replace the FMCs. If you have a data backup, that's good and fine. If you do not have a data backup, that's where you will have a trouble. But you have to do the complication again from the starting. Now, replacing a failed primary FMC. Primary is down, which has a successful data backup. Now, that one is a pretty straightforward, that one. Now, the two firepower management center, I'm say, thinking that FMC1 and FMC are the two power firepower management centers where FMC1 is acting as an active, FMC2 is acting as a secondary. Now, when the primary center of FMC1 fails, go to the secondary and make the secondary as active. First thing is that always make the secondary as active when primary goes down so that your operations are in sync. Now, you can use FMC2 as an active fire, firepower management center until the FMC is being, one has been replaced. Now, do not break the firepower management center high availability, make sure. Because you already have the data backup, there is no need to break the firepower high availability. 
do not break that one just replace that fmc one with the same version same everything exactly after replacing what you have to do is that you just need to you just need to enable the high availability and fmc one will automatically synchronize to the fmc fmc two will synchronize all the details to the fmc one but there are certain things which will not be like uh, synchronized that is the geo database geolocation database and vulnerability database so you have to manually download this one match the versions to the fmc2 before you uh, configure the high availability so these are the two things which will not be synchronized so before you synchronize make sure that these two are present in your fmc1 then you can go ahead and do the fmc now now again, once you configure that FMC high availability, again, it will be in a split to split brain because you already have a data backup. And when you imported the data backup in the FMC one, what's happening, it is now acting as a active one. And secondary is also acting as an active one, split brain uh, issue here uh, scenario. So what you have to do, you have to select any one as a primary because both of them have the exact same configuration with the high availability because they are able to synchronize with each other now because you have replaced that one with a successful data backup. So this is only in a case scenario where you have a successful data backup. Now, what is what if you do not have any backup now, but your primary went down, you don't have any backup. So that's where you will be breaking the high availability because no use of anyone that one. So in this case, what you will do, you will break your high availability. Number one is that First, make the secondary as the active pair. So once you make the secondary as an active, so what you have to do, break the high availability, break this one. So once you break this one, this is now a standby. Or you can say it is in like stand alone FMC now, which is acting as an active here. So once it is acting as a standalone active FMC, what you do is that you replace the FMC one, primary one, with the same version, software version and everything. And after that, configure the high availability as usual. So once you configure the high availability, this one will be active, this one will be second automatically. Because we all have, we have all the configuration in this one. And what we want to do is that we want to synchronize all the settings to the FMC one now. FMC two has all the information, FMC one has nothing now. We have to synchronize means this should be active then only it will synchronize to the standby with the unsuccessful one this is the scenario with the successful one that's a different scenario now again it's a similar process with the secondary one no change with that one any questions with regarding this one how to replace the fmc's in case of successful and unsuccessful backup Kids are, but that's fine.